In a powerful statement, CCC leader Nelson Chamisa recently illuminated the historical landscape, delving into the legacy of Herbert Chitipo and, by extension, exposing the shadowy contours of Emerson Umningagwa's political trajectory. President Chamisa's portrayal of Herbert Chitipo was nothing short of a tribute to brilliance and eloquence personified. According to Chamisa, Chitipo's clarity of thought was a natural frequency, a testament to his deep intellect and unwavering integrity. The late leader was described as being wired to lead, possessing a unique quality that resonated with authenticity. For Chitipo, politics was not a platform for primitive wealth accumulation or personal aggrandizement through money or business deals. The narrative takes a poignant turn as Chamisa highlights the cruel realities of a world where wickedness habitually assassinates brilliance. Mediocrity, as per Chamisa's assertion, is a perennial assailant of excellence. The contrast between Chitipo's principled approach and the harsh realities of the political arena sets the stage for Chamisa's implied critique of current Zimbabwean leadership. Without explicitly naming Emerson Umningagwa, President Chamisa's choice of words creates a stark juxtaposition between the genuine leadership qualities attributed to Chitipo and the alleged shadows that loom over Umningagwa's past. The implicit accusation of wickedness and cruelty within the political landscape becomes a lens through which the reader can interpret President Chamisa's thoughts on the current state of affairs. President Chamisa's use of historical facts serves as a powerful tool, providing a context that goes beyond the immediate political narrative. By invoking Chitipo's legacy, he prompts reflection on the values and principles that should guide political leadership. Hinting at a deviation from these ideals in the present, President Nelson Chamisa's statement on Herbert Chitipo serves not only as a historical tribute but also as a strategic move to shed light on what he perceives as the divergence from ethical leadership in contemporary Zimbabwean politics. The subtle critique of Umingagwa, couched in historical homage, adds weight to Chamisa's narrative, inviting readers to consider the implications for the nation's future.